farmers and residents in southeastern Trinidad, particularly in Rio Claro, are facing a locust infestation. The locusts have migrated from Maruga through Mora Valley and are now moving through Rio Claro. Agriculture Minister Clarence Rambrad says a team from his ministry has been spraying during the later parts of the day. He said no major destruction has been seen yet, mainly because the locusts are constantly moving and added that they are a nuisance getting into clothing, vehicles and anywhere else they can occupy. Minister of Agriculture and Land and Fisheries Clarence Rambrad said the locusts go through a cycle which starts in the September-November period when they nest. It's the best time to control the population because they're nesting. Um, the, the young ones have not been hatched and it is the time when you should do it. Last year I was not pleased with, with the work of the ministry. I'm on record as saying that the ministry's leadership on, in this area sat back. They were, remained in their offices. They did not go out into the field. And on account of that in places like Moruga and other parts of the country, we had an infestation this year around the March-April period. Via his Facebook page, the minister posted videos of the locusts. In this one, he said they have taken a liking to a farm in Old Mayaro Road, Rio Claro. They cover the apamat trees, plantain and fig, and anywhere else with a food source. The minister said what's being seen in the Rio Claro area are the locusts in a mature stage moving into their next nesting period. They fly at a height where it is very difficult to spray them, so we have to wait until it, they land. In addition to which, when they land in residential areas, like they were in Rio Claro yesterday, it is very difficult to spray them because you're talking about spraying in intensely populated areas. So we've, we've been monitoring them for, since, they, since they've been in Moruga earlier this year. We know that they're heading off to the forested areas. He said a plan has been put in place this year to deal with the eradication during the nesting period. Yesterday at around 4 o'clock they disappeared from Rio Claro and this morning they reappeared and I've already said to the public that in Rio Claro in places like the library, Enid Village, Tabakit Road, El Guanapo Estate, you would see intense amounts of them today and we're working to, to, to get rid of them. The key to it is, is eradicating them during the nesting period. What we found also is that in, in the past they, they they come, they develop over a particular cycle, maybe in seven-year intervals. A team has also been set up to look carefully at the ongoing problem. We have a, a team that is in place now. There's a, a, an expert called Dr. Lillary Makomi, who in the, in the 1980s and 90s worked, um, worked with Lucas, and she, she retired as Director of Research in the Ministry, and she's going to be heading up the team that is going to deal with it during the nesting period. Since 2012, the locust infestation has been occurring on an annual basis. According to Minister Rambarat, climate change plays a significant part in this as the intense dry and wet conditions allow them to multiply rapidly as the right conditions are created.